Hi, it's Malaya. So today I made a video about my everyday makeup which is very easy and natural. It usually takes me more or less 10 minutes to do this so it's perfect na pang araw-araw especially on days na when you're running late pero gusto niyo pa mukhang presentable at mukhang fresh. I already moisturized my skin using Celatec. A moisturizer is important kasi this will make your foundation apply smoother at hindi siya magbububuo. For foundation, I use Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and I apply tiny dots all over my face. For everyday looks like this one, mas prefer ko pa rin na sheer to light lang yung foundation, yung tipong kita pa rin yung mga imperfections. To blend in the foundation, you can use your fingers, sponge or in my case, brush. Kung gusto nyo magmukhang flawless at natural yung makeup nyo, ang tip dyan is to blend, blend, blend. Kailangan i-blend siya ng maayos na dapat walang visible na foundation streaks. By the way, I like this foundation because it has good coverage and mukha siyang natural sa skin. Parang hindi siya masyadong obvious na may foundation ka. Don't forget to blend in your foundation dun sa hairline and dun sa neck. For brows, I use NYX Tame and Frayed in shade Brunette. Dahil nakatato na yung brows ko, I have nothing much to say in this part but I'm planning to make a video for kilay lang on a model. Watch out for it if you're interested. Nilagyan ko lang ng product dun sa area na nag-fade na yung tattoo starting dun sa tail ng brow which will be the darkest tapos Papunta ng papunta sa inner part is palight na siya ng palight. Tapos nilagyan ko lang din siya sa may inner part para hindi siya magmukhang sharp and unnatural. And then, ginamit ko yung spoolie to blend in. And then I use concealer to clean the edges and ma-achieve yung shape na gusto ko. And then of course, i-blend lang siya ng maayos. I use NYX Clear Brow Gel to set my brow hairs in place. This will make your brows look nicer, pero if you don't have it, it's okay. Hindi naman siya ganun ka-importante. Next is Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer for my under eye circles. Mag-drawing lang kayo ng inverted triangle dun sa may under eye area para i-cover yung maiitim na eye bags at the same time, i-highlight na rin yan. Ayan, kunwari, triangle yung ginawa ko. I like using my clean finger para i-blend yung concealer ko. I think when I do this, my concealer blends well in my skin at hindi siya nagbubuo-buo. Nilagyan ko rin ng concealer yung sides ng nose ko na maraming redness, yung chin, at yung forehead. Kasi para hindi masagwa na yung under eye lang yung lumulutang, so this way, balance yung buong face. Using the same brush na ginamit ko kanina sa foundation, I blend everything together. To contour my nose, I use Kat Von D Contour Palette. Kinuha ko yung lightest na contour shade. How you contour the nose depends dun sa shape ng nose, pero yung sa akin, I start dun sa inner part na nung brow ko until dun sa may nostril. Kuha lang muna kayo ng konting product, tapos pwede naman kayong mag-add later. Remember, mas madaling magdagdag kesa magbawas, especially sa makeup. Ang idea ng contouring is mag-create ng shadow para mag-appear siya na mas malalim, therefore mas matangos. Kaya make sure na i-blend siya ng maayos para walang harsh lines, then magbumuka lang siya na natural lang. From the same palette, I picked up the middle highlight shade at in-apply ko siya sa bridge at tip ng nose ko. Using the same palette, ginamit ko yung lightest na contour shade. And then, ilagyan ko lang yung eyes ko para magkaroon lang siya ng wash of color at hindi siya mukhang flat. Although, hindi siya halata sa camera pero meron yan sa totoong buhay.
my cannot live without part curling my lashes so pinch ko lang siya for like 5 to 10 seconds until ma curl siya For mascara, I use Maybelline Hyper Curl. Start applying dun sa base or sa roots ng lashes and then wiggle-wiggle lang like so. You can do two coats if gusto nyo na mas makapal at mas mahaba. To those na hindi mahilig magmascara, you can skip this step kasi ako hindi rin ako nagmamascara every single day. Nagmamascara lang ako kapag uh, gusto kong magmaganda. I don't recommend to use waterproof mascara araw-araw kasi mahirap siyang tanggalin. So baka magkalaglag yung pilit mata nyo, makalbo siya. Lagyan nyo rin ng mascara yung lower lashes nyo para magmukha kayong manika at saka magmukha kayong awake and alive. For lips and cheeks, I use Peripera in shade Dollish Page. I apply tiny amount on my cheeks kasi this is super pigmented at i-blend siya kaagad kasi mabilis siyang matuyo. I love this product kasi 2-in-1 siya and then matatapos na yung araw, andun pa rin siya talaga. Ang style ng blush na trip ko ngayon is parang yung drunk blush kasi para sa akin flattering siyang tignan, mukha siyang natural, fresh, and blooming lang. Nilagyan ko rin yung under eye area ko, pati yung dun sa my nose, para mas mukha siyang natural, syempre. Kumuha ako ng foundation brush at kinover ko ng konti kasi napataas yung lagay ko. Back to Peripera Ink Velvet. Inapply ko muna siya sa inner part ng lips ko. And then, ginamit ko yung finger ko to blend. To set everything in place, I use RCMA No Color Powder. I apply tiny amount to set my concealer para hindi siya mag-move at mag-stay lang siya dun all day. Since hindi naman ako oily, naglagay lang ako ng konting powder dun sa T-zone ko. If oily yung skin nyo, then i-apply nyo yung powder sa buong face nyo. The next step is extra lang. If you feel it's too much, then don't do it. I use Essence Pure Nude to highlight the high points of my face kasi trip ko ngayon yung medyo makintab-kintab yung face. If oily kayo at hindi kayo sanay mag-highlight, then avoid nyo na to kasi magmumukha kayong greasy at the end of the day. So, eto na yung finish look. Sana nagustuhan nyo at nag-enjoy kayo. And if beginner kayo, sana may natutunan kayo. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you again next time. Bye!